Hi, my name is Jesus Campos. I'm Ricardo Martinez. I'm Brenda Barnhill. And I'm Dre Rodriguez. And this is our metal detector project for measurements. Um, so I'll go ahead and jump right into the circuit. Uh, we have two main circuits. This one is actually powering the search coil. It's using a couple of in, uh, capacitors, resistors, and a transistor to create an alternating current in our inductor, which is the search coil. So the, the physics behind of the metal detector works is this alternating current creates a alternating magnetic field. So when that magnetic field interacts with a stationary metal object, such as a semiconductor, that will create uh, eddy currents within the conductor. This conductor will then, these eddy currents will then make an alternating magnetic field that interacts with our magne magnetic field at various frequencies that this detector picks up. So the second portion of our circuit here is the sensory portion. And so it's connected to three indicator lights on the front here, and you have blue, green, and red with blue being the weakest, green being medium, and red being the largest. And these indicator lights are showing the strength of the, or the magnitude of the difference in frequency registered. So if we have a metal that's very large or very close, the change in frequency, as Ricardo described, would be greater. And so it shows the strength, um, giving you a more accurate interpretation of what's going on. And um, for convenience as well, we also have a buzzer. Um, so you get an auditory, indication as well as a visual indication. So now I'll walk you through how our program is reading our input. So we talked about our oscillating circuit which creates an, a frequency that our program can read. The program detects a frequency, it sets a baseline for this frequency the difference between the frequency and the baseline is then shown in a difference variable, which is then uh, tells tells our Arduino whether to turn on our blue, green, or red lights for higher changes in frequency. Moving on to the applications, so. The metal detector can be used in uh, a variety of ways, first and foremost recreationally um, for fun, and then secondly, uh, this prototype can be scaled upward and be used in a variety of industries including mining, construction, oil field. It's also adapted for handheld use with a comfortable strap um, and a pivot which always uh, points the search coil downwards towards the ground. Um, now we'll show it how it works in action. <laughs> 